Greetings everyone, welcome back to a very hands-free Blade Bias video. Finally, I finally have my head mount back and I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, now that I have this thing back, we can start recording videos again and talk about things that I've wanted to talk about for a long time and finally deliver on videos that I've been promising for months now and haven't done anything with. Sorry about that. But not yet, because I wanted to take this video to kind of catch up with you guys, let you know what's been going on, kind of give you some insight into why the upload schedule has been the way it has and maybe give you an idea for the future. So I am now officially done with classes for the year. Um, it was not the craziest semester I've ever had. That would definitely go to last semester. But it was still, there was still a lot to do. There were still some projects that I had to stay up, do some very late hours. Um, you know, do some very late hours to finish and get those in but that is over now so that's kind of one reason that i haven't been as active on the channel lately like i've still been active but i haven't been uploading as consistently as i normally do skip a day here or there and there are really three main factors for that one of them was the head mount situation i know a lot of people were like oh it doesn't like the handheld still looks fine which like it does that's the beauty of the camera that i use the Pocket 2 has the self-stabilization feature. It's got a gimbal built in. So like holding it is fine. It's just when you're recording, it's already kind of a struggle to flip and have a main like stream of consciousness to talk to the camera. So when you also have to throw in like thinking about where your arm is pointing the camera, it becomes just too much. And it makes, re it makes recording, for me at least, unenjoyable like it kind of became like oh i have to pick up my camera hold it here all scrunched up against my chest and like and flip semi decently while also talking about stuff it sucked if you are someone who makes videos holding your camera pointing it at your phone or pointing it at your flipping i respect you that has like it takes a lot of multitasking genuinely to be able to do that but I feel like you would be so much better off getting a head mount or like a shoulder mount or something. Um, but that's just me. Maybe I just can't do three things at once, which is very possible. So that was one reason. The second reason was what I mentioned before school. There were a lot of crazy projects and finals that I had to study for. There was actually only one final that I had to study for, but the final projects were getting a little crazy to the point where I was like, mm. I probably shouldn't take a break from this for an hour to record. Probably wouldn't be the wisest decision. I probably could have. But then the third reason also kicked in, which was I just kind of wanted a break. I had decided around the time of the MachineWise announcement that I was going to take a bit of a step back from just everything like Instagram, the community, YouTube in general, and just kind of take a little bit of a break which kind of would have let me focus on my last few weeks of classes, but also would have given me a mental refresher before going into summer and focusing quite a bit more on doing like YouTube stuff and Balasong stuff. So while I couldn't do that perfectly because the Seraph arrived like a, a week after I made that decision, um, I still ended up doing like, okay, I have to do a video for tomorrow. I'm just not going to do it. So I just took the day off and kind of did that a few times. And I think it's helped me kind of clarify a lot of the weird feelings that the machine wise announcement gave me just about the hobby overall. Um, because I don't think anyone can really deny that the health of the hobby isn't in the greatest spot right now. So it, it, I had to take some time to reflect on that a little bit and just kind of get myself, like I said, in order for a summer of hopefully sick content and live streams and all that. So I'm pretty excited now that the classes are over, pretty excited to talk about stuff. I'm excited to, I have a whole list of videos that I wrote down ideas for um, while I was on kind of that hiatus. I hesitate to say hiatus because I was still uploading videos. And I should mention, I don't want anyone who is involved in the Seraph to think like, oh, we ruined his break. I wasn't actually going to just stop uploading for weeks on end. The Seraph came at a perfect point to give me something to be excited about and make videos about. So that was nice. It was nice. It was very, very nice. And the Seraph has been freaking amazing. We will talk about the Seraph now that I have my head mount, head mount back. Hopefully next video, 
Uh, don't hold me to that, but I think the next upload should be talking about the Seraph. I'll probably record that tomorrow sometime. But yeah, I'm just... It's nice. It's nice to finally have my free time back to myself again. Um, and yeah, we're approaching the end of this apartment. There's a lot of things coming up. We're approaching the final video in this apartment. Like, within a month or two, which is pretty crazy. Um, because I should be done with classes. Not done with school entirely. I'm not graduated yet. But coursework should be like good and set so we're going into a new age here hopefully i don't really know what the future looks like right now we will have to see on that but the way that i think it's going to go is that i'll have a lot more free time now to do videos and keep up with the community on all that so follow me on all of my socials instagram join the discord i'll be active there over the summer i'll be streaming on my main channel quite a bit more right now it's like once maybe not even once a week but over the summer it usually goes up to like two three maybe four times a week so go check that out we have a lot of fun over there and yeah it's just an exciting time so i wanted to do a video just kind of catching up with everyone i'm back took my little like mini break kind of and now we're ready to get back into ballad songs into videos talk about spoiler alert maybe the greatest knife i've ever touched just period <clears throat> not spoiling that video at all you already knew that anyway um but yeah ggwp i'll see you guys in the next one i guess i think i covered everything yeah i guess i guess i'll get going on some videos that i've been promising for a long time now i i'm finally gonna get around to doing the video talking about why you possibly shouldn't trust me uh, talking about like all the income sources and my biases and all that. I know I promised that a long time ago, but that video is going to require... It's going to be one of the first Blade Bias videos that I actually have a script. Not a full script, but like bullet points, because I want to make sure I get everything in that video. That's going to be one video that like is kind of permanent. Like I'm always going to relay people back to that video. Blade Bias videos have a very short lifespan. Sometimes I'll upload a video and it'll be it'll be out of date like a week later. So I want to make sure that that one can endure as long as possible. So we'll get around to that. And I'm done yapping. Hopefully you guys have been good. I haven't really responded to comments that much because of, you know, taking a little bit of a step back and focusing on school and all that. So I'll get back to that. Hopefully you've all been good. Hopefully there's stuff that you're excited for, stuff that maybe is on the way, stuff that you're excited to see videos on whatever hopefully everyone's good and i will uh see you in the next one i guess i think that's about it see you later